We have introduced many famous and deep networks, but could all of these models be used in everywhere, especially for mobile devices with very limited computing power? The number of parameters, number of flops are extremely expensive, and they need powerful GPUs to compute. But sometimes we use the model on embedded chips or mobile phones, which don't have such powerful GPUs. What should we do then? We prefer some small but efficient networks to solve the problem. So today I will introduce some famous small but efficient models. Here are some famous deep networks and let's see how many number of flops do they have. For example, for BGG19, it has 143 millions of parameters and 19.6 billions of flops. Similar for GoogleNet and ResNet, it has 1.5 billions of flops and for ResNet, it has 11.3 billion of flops. Those models cannot be used on mobile devices. That's why we need some small networks. Let's first take a look at SqueezeNet. It is famous for its fire module. It first used a one-time one comp to reduce the number of input channels, and then it also used some one one comp to replace three times three comp. Before, we only used three times three comps, and in SqueezeNet, Half of them is 1-1-conf one, one and half of them is 3x3-conf. Three three the source code is pretty straightforward. It has a conf 2D and the kernel size is 1. And this is corresponding to this part. And there is another conf 2D, kernel size equals to 1, is referring to here. And then it has another conf 2D, kernel size equal to 3, and it's referring to this part. The forward function is also pretty straightforward. We feed the input to the squeeze and then to use the ReLU as activation function. It is here. And then we also have a 1-1-conf one, one and then a 3-3-conf. Three, three uh, also use ReLU as an activation function. And then we concatenate those two uh, together. So it's here. The structure of SqueezeNet is like this. It is the stacks of five modules. There are several features of SqueezeNet. It uses 1-1-conf instead of 3-3-conf, and uh, it reduces the number of feature maps flat to 3-3-conf. It reduces uh, the pooling so that the information won't get lost too soon, and compared with AlexNet, SqueezeNet can achieve same accuracy but with 110 times smaller. This is very satisfying achievement for mobile device application. There are several types of SqueezeNet. The first one is a very simple. It only has one path. Um, it goes from one end to the other end. And the second one is adding different fly modules. Um, it has branches. And then the third one is more complicated. It is two directional. Uh, one is with one one call. The channels goes from 96 to 128, and then it's added to another fly module. And the other one is without 1-1-conf. One, one the channel size are the same, 128 and also 128, and the fine modules are added together. The third one has the best performance because it is the most complex one, and the information is the mostly merged. The error is adding, not concatenating, because at that time, there was no residual blocks yet. The second model is exception. It uses a 3 times 3 channel-wise comp and a 1 times 1 point-wise comp. The 3 times 3 channel-wise comp has only a few number of parameters, but it can extract the spatial information, but the channels don't communicate. And then it uses 1 times 1 point-wise comp for channels to communicate. Now let's analyze the exception structure. How many flops are reduced? We assume the feature map size is df times df, so it's a square and the number of flops is an estimate value. The M is the input channel, and the N is output channel. For a normal 3 times 3 conf, the number of flops is dk times dk, which is the size of the kernel times input channel times output channel, then times the size of the feature map. For depth-wise conf, it is dk times dk, which is the size of the kernel, and then times input channel, then times the size of the feature map. And for pointwise conf, 
it is m times n times the size of the uh, feature map. Um, and these two ops together are called depth-wise separable com. And when you divide this by the normal com, it is 1 divided by n plus 1 divided by k, dk squared. It's definitely smaller than 1. The accuracy is similar, but the number of parameters is much smaller. The mobile net is proposed by Google, which apparently is used for mobile devices. It uses, utilizes a lot of exception module. It reduces the flops, but it increases the memory access cost. Why? Because there are many intermediate feature maps that also need to be saved. Normal comps don't need to save the intermediate feature maps. It only saves the input and output feature maps, um, but for exception, it also needs to save intermediate feature maps. Mobile net is stacks of exception modules. And uh, you can take a look at here, there are many uh, depth-wise plus point-wise uh, combinations. And here is another depth-wise plus point-wise. Um, the statistics of mobile net, the number of parameters and number of flops are here. And uh, one drawback for mobile net is that most of the computation is on one one con. And you can see that more than 90% of computation is on one one con, and more than 74% of parameters is on one one con. This is one of the drawbacks of mobile net. To solve the drawback of mobile net, shuffle net is proposed. One one con is to let the channels communicate their information. Is there a way to have small number of flops and even no parameters to realize the communication among channels? There is one, and this operation is shuffle. It first separates the channels into different groups. Here, I separate to red, green, and blue. And in each group, there are multiple channels. Here, in each group, it has three channels. But for different groups, the information is not communicated. I want to do a shuffle to let the different channels communicate with each other. Um, then in each group, it has red, green, and blue. This is the idea of shuffle net. By using channel shuffle, it can let all channels communicate. Next step is how to implement shuffle. It's very simple. By using two times of reshape to implement channel shuffle. Sounds incredible, right? Let's take a look at the source code. Here is the source code of channel shuffle. It gets the BCHW of the input and then the channels per group is the total number of channels divided by groups. And then the input is reshaped to batch size, groups, channels per group, height and width. And then the first and second dimension is exchanged. That means the group and the channel per groups uh, are exchanged. And then it reshaped to BCHW again. Now let's look at an example. Suppose I have a 3 times 3 tensor. The input is 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 9. I then exchange the 0 and the first dimension. Then it becomes 1, 4, 7, 2, 5, 8, 3, 6, 9. It's just like channel division. Suppose I have 9 channel input. I separate them into 3 groups. And this is red, this is green, and this is blue. But those 3 groups cannot communicate the information to the other group. By exchanging the first and second dimension, the output is now 147, 258, 369. And for the first group, 1 is from red, 4 is from green, 7 is from blue. Same for the other two groups. They all have information of blue, red, and green. This is the way to shuffle channels. Quite amazing, right? Besides, your shape doesn't need any parameters. So it's very fast and nice. This is the shuffle net result. If you are interested, you can take a look at the original paper. The conclusion is fast and accurate for sure. For shuffle net 0.5, it gets very similar accuracy as AlexNet and SqueezeNet, but the number of flops of shuffle net 0.5 is only 38 millions of flops, whereas AlexNet uh, has 720 millions of flops and SqueezeNet has 833 millions of flops. Um, it's much better than SqueezeNet. When it goes to ShuffleNet V2, 
it's even smaller and faster. To be honest, it blows my mind. The number of flops is only about 300k. The number of parameters is only about 300k, and it gets a very high accuracy. When I test it on embedded chips, it gives an exceptional speed for inference compared with a very small ResNet model, and it gives the same accuracy.